All right, so the winter anime season is here, and the first anime I'm going to be talking about is called Adventurers Who Don't Believe in Humanity Will Save the World. So, at first, I thought this was an isekai, but it wasn't. It's a regular fantasy series. Thank goodness, finally, a series where the main character does not get teleported into another world. And after watching the first episode... I was like, this is actually pretty good, and I actually recommend you watch this, right? So right off the bat, a rating for this episode one will be a 7 out of 10. I'm actually going to do this right now. I'm going to, on my annual list, if you go to annualist.com, well, that, that CO, and you go to Light One Films, you can see what I'm currently watching, what I watch, and all that stuff. I'm giving episode 1 a 7 out of 10. I'm giving the anime placeholder for 7 out of 10. And I'm going to talk a little bit about it. it. Minor spoilers, nothing major, right? So in the series, we have this adventurer. His name is Nick. He was a member of an adventure team. And he gets kicked out from the party by somebody that was like a father figure to him. And he's like, oh, man, what am I going to do now? I used to look up to this guy. He was like a father to me. He picked me up when I was a child. Now I'm an adult. He just dumped me. And he also had a girlfriend in this party. His girlfriend dumped him. And basically his life was in shambles. He's looking for money, ways to make money. And there was a scene where he was just sitting down like a fountain. It was raining. He had no umbrella and this idol. Idols actually exist in this fantasy world, which is very interesting. A world where there's powers like magic, adventures and things like that, which is really interesting. And she gives Nick her umbrella and a ticket to her show saying, okay, I'm a new idol. And then he becomes uh, an idol otaku. So it has comedy. The fantasy is there. You know, we haven't seen the combat or anything like that yet. But it's very interesting so far. It's very interesting. Nick's character is not the most unique character or anything like that. But I like the first episode because it's like a band of misfits all coming together. So the band of misfits is Nick who got kicked out of his adventure party. Right? We have Kuran, which... We didn't get her full backstory, all right? She is a draconian, so she's, I guess, dragon and human, or maybe just dragon. I, I don't know. We didn't get her full backstory. She said that somebody stole something from her. Then we have Tiana, which basically, they she didn't trust people. Like, in her school and stuff, a lot of people was like, oh, you did this with the teachers. Like, they were really messed up to her. And then we have Zem. Which I really feel bad for Sam because there was this girl that would gather herbs for him. He's a priest, by the way, right? Some I don't know if it was years. It, it, let's say it was years ago, right? In his backstory, and then one day she's like, oh, I'll, I'm an adult. I want to feel like more like an adult. And he tells her, look, I'm a priest. I can't have a girlfriend. I can't date you and stuff. And she gets so mad. And she says she hates him. And next thing you know, the next day... Oh, the girl lies and says that he has been paying her to sleep with him. And he basically just go. He gets outcasted, right? He gets kicked out of his village and he just walks around, meets a woman. And then basically starts living his life more freely and becomes more of a womanizer and stuff, right? When he used to be a priest. So it's one of the girls... That basically left her school because she was ostracized. Zem, which was lied about. Kuran, which somebody stole something from from her. And then we have Nick, who got kicked out of his party. So four misfits, which are fated to save the world. And the irony is they're fated to save the world, even though they don't trust anybody. And the ending of the episode was really good, which I'm not going to mention because I, I really want you to check out the series. Now, I may review this weekly, you know, depending how I feel about episode two and onwards. I, it might be weekly reviews because, yeah, it's a new anime season. I do want to pick up at least one 
anime, one or two anime to review every week because, you know, it can't just be all manga content on the channel. I do I do watch a lot of these anime, if you're wondering. Yes, I do. I just don't review it. And if I do do a review, it's like one or two or maybe max three videos and that's it, even though I watch the entire season. So, you know, I want to do uh, things a little differently this anime season and actually review something fully. Let me see how many episodes this is going to have. Uh, it doesn't actually have the episode count, but we will see.